everyone and welcome back to day two of Cavemas here at the Colour Cave in the grand tradition of always wearing something festive. I look like a reject from a Christmas wedding but I am actually getting weirdly attached to this. I might wear this on Christmas Day. Anyway, today we are going to get our craft on. Recently in a haul I got some UV resin and I really wanted to make something that was going to be slightly useful so I thought it would be fun to try and make some ornaments for my Christmas tree which is due to go up any day now. So let's get to top down view and see how we get on with some resin. Let's get going. So some of the things that I have got, aside from the actual moulds that we're going to use, is some little glittery things to go in the centre. Now these were the original sets that I got from Wish when I bought the, the first sort of UV set. So I have this glitter powder here in various colours and this is what exploded inside the bag and covered absolutely everything. And I've got some mica powders here as well. The other thing that I've got are these little, I suppose you can call them sequins, is that the right word? I uh, I picked these up really cheaply on eBay and there's some here that are little like holographic stars and I've got some gold snowflakes and then I've got this mixed holographic bag of snowflakes and finally some little Christmas trees as well. If you are looking for stuff like this, I actually found it under the nail art section because apparently people put crap like this on their nails. <laughs> I'm not one of those people. Have you seen my nails? I don't know if you'll be able to see them or not. I've got a snowflake on my ring fingers and I've got a snowflake pattern on my thumbs and the rest of them, are, they've actually got like a, a kind of glittery sparkle in them. Like on my, on what looks like my plain nails but it's just very slight fancy. I have some flat pendant moulds, they're supposed to be for necklace pendants but I thought they'd be quite good to turn into little ornaments and I also have these kind of tubular shaped ones as well and there's a hexagonal one, a square one, uh, a cylindrical one and I've got this weird kind of diamond shaped one. So anyway I thought these would be quite good fun to play with because I have these tiny screw fixings and I've bought them in silver and gold so what we can do is we can set them into the top of the actual ornament when we're curing them and they're not heavy enough that they're going to be holding any sort of weight but just to finish them off I've got some ribbon in sort of festive colours so I've got some red, some green, what's supposed to be silver but just looks like dirty white if you ask me and some gold as well now the reason I wanted to do small decorations is that, I don't know about anybody else, but if you have a real tree, the branches at the top of the tree tend to be quite short. We can make them pretty but they'll be a nice size to hang on those upper branches as well, which I am really looking forward to. Now I'd just like to say regardless of whether or not these actually turn out, I'm still going to hang them on my Christmas tree this year and uh, I will put pictures up on the community tab when I have actually done that because obviously I'm filming this uh, a little bit before my Christmas tree is going to go up. Some of you may have spotted this yesterday in the colouring video and it is a little resin star and uh, I want to make some more of these to put in with my table scatter because I do have similar table scatter that's going to go on the table for our Christmas meal so I wanted to do a few more of those. The only thing with this is I've only got one of these star shaped moulds so I'm just going to kind of do them in between when I'm waiting for things to cure and you know vice versa. So this is the little UV lamp I've got and it is, it is kind of deadly in with a lot of stuff I bought from Wish. I did buy this separately but it came in like the same parcel and it just it's just a USB plug. So you're quite restricted in terms of what you can fit under this but I have found by sitting it you know like slightly higher up from the surface you can maybe put two things underneath and they will start to cure. Oh man I've not done anything yet and I've got these little <laughs> sequins everywhere. I haven't even opened the bag and there's one floating about. So these are the other um, the other moulds that I've got. This one here has the little star in that I was just talking about and I'm going to use one of these rectangular pendant shapes. I have scrubbed these moulds three times and I still can't get the glitter, <laughs> the glitter out. 
I've also tried with tape. I have tried everything and it's just not plain ball. Anyway, I thought we could do like a rectangular one and then maybe one of these oval ones or circular ones. Because they're designed to be pendants, they do have the little space for the hole for you to, you know, put a chain or uh, a cord on it. So that's really helpful for us making decorations as well. So we won't need any fixings or findings for these ones. The other thing that I've kept handy as well is this is just one of the, the packaging bags that I've received things through the post. Now, because it's dark, it means I can mix up some of the resin and pop it under here and kind of use this as a cover. Because it is UV activated, it starts to cure because we're in daylight. Obviously, it's going to do that at a really slow rate um, because we're, we're not in, like, you know, it's not like the UV light, but it just means you can take your time and you're not rushed with things. So I found that was quite helpful. I spent an evening kind of like faffing about with everything and I found that quite helpful. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of my little mixing cups out here. And I am going to mix up some of my star mix. Star mix, is that not a sweet? <laughs> right, so I've got my... Uh, my stars here. One of the things that I'm finding hard to gauge is the ratio of these things. Oh, they're going everywhere already. Like, I don't really know how many stars I should be putting into the resin and I think it is a bit of trial and error though. I do have cocktail sticks as well. Someone had suggested in the whole video to use these rather than uh, the little mixing spoons or lollipop sticks that you get and it's to help with the bubble situation so yeah I'm not going to ruin my cutting mat so some of you will remember this yeah this mat from the days of yore it's uh, in a bit of a sorry state but it doesn't matter if it get, gets wrecked so we're, go we're gonna go with that ever the optimist and I'm just gonna start putting some resin in here oh my goodness <laughs> oh no now apparently though as well, the trick is to do this slowly so that you have less bubbles. I think that's going to be loads. I'm not I'm not entirely sure about quantities yet. This is only like the third time I've ever done this. And I'm just going to give this a really gentle mix so that I can get my stars down, down into the, the actual resin itself. Okay, so I've got my mould here. These little plastic containers have got like a little kind of like lip on them and it's obviously like a pouring spout. Just gonna see if I can get this to do anything. See this is where I'm thinking the, lo the lollipop sticks might be better. See this is why I'll never be a crafter. I don't, I don't know what it is but I really don't have the patience for like fiddling about with stuff like this that's messy. See if it's pencil drawing, that's fine. <laughs> In fact, I'm like super cool with it if it's a pencil drawing. I'm just not cool with this. Like I've got this hat all the way up the side. Okay, I'm kind of getting to the top now. It does look as if my stars are like suspended. There are a lot, oh, don't do that. There are a lot at the bottom, but there's some kind of in the middle as well. So I don't know whether to clean this up. I don't know whether to clean this dribble up on the side first or just let it harden and then pull it off. I'm thinking that might be a better idea. Right, so I've, I've got my tiny little screw fix in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my UV light and I am basically going to plonk this in the top here. So like in that way. And then I'm going to put the UV light on the top of it so that it sets and holds it in place. I have no guarantee that this is going to be straight or anything, but I'm going to try my best here. This is where steady hands come in. That's something that I'm not renowned for. Okay, so we're we're completely off center, but it's in. So I'll just um I'll just give this a couple of seconds to do its thing. Okay, so while that's doing that, I'm gonna mix up some of this gold mica powder in with the next lot, and this is gonna be for our little scatter stars. So that's cool. So I've been told as well that this mica powder, like a tiny bit of it goes a long, long way and I can probably uh, agree with that. So I'm just getting everything set out first because I want to be able to move quickly here. So let's do the resin first. And I am trying to pour this out really slowly. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there, but it's not. See the way that it's coming out? I am doing it really slowly. I'm just kind of putting in enough to fill the bottom of one of these, these wee cups. So I'm just going to pop a bit of this in, give it a bit of a mix. So I must have used more powder than this last time because if you look at the difference between what's in my little cup and this one here, so I think we're going to have to go back in. 
I think I might actually have to just use my cocktail stick for this if I'm honest. So I'm just going to like scoop this up with my cocktail stick and then let it slide off into the mould and then I can kind of like manipulate it, you know, I can manoeuvre it about in the in the mould. You can see how impatient I am with this and this is the UV resin, can you imagine me with like actual epoxy resin? Okay, that's pretty full and it's actually starting to dome a little bit and I'm going to pop this underneath my, my UV light. Now I'm assuming that the these sort of cone shaped moulds are going to take a lot longer to cure because obviously the mould itself is quite thick but also there's the concentration of the actual amount of resin that's in it. I thought we could have some Christmas trees and the either the silver or the white glitter you know so it looks like snow because I think that would be quite cute. I think I'm going to put my trees in individually though. <laughs> I'll put the I'll put some of this in here, but I think I'll put the trees in on their own. And again, absolutely no idea how much of this to put in here. It is quite delicate, so that may be enough. <laughs> I meant to get myself one of those little baby blowtorch things. You know, like the um the the little lighters you would get to light your cooker. You know the little clicky. I was going to get one of them because apparently they're really good for taking bubbles out as well. I mean, look at that. That's a beastie. And it's not bursting. Why? Why? Come on, air bubble. Tried to burst it there and it just split into two. <laughs> okay, so if I pop a little bit of this in my mould first. And again, I don't want all my glittery stuff to, to sink to the bottom. Right, let's get some Christmas trees out. I'm weirdly comforted by the smell of this resin as well. I don't, I don't think that's normal, is it? Try and pick these up with my tweezers, see how we get on. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so. Well, that went well. <laughs> get in there. Go on. Oh, they're all stuck to the side as well. Brilliant. Okay. I'm just going to stick a couple in and then pour some more of this in. Maybe it'll catch them and kind of like pull them down a bit. Is this the stick that I was using? No, it's not. I've, I've got so many cocktail sticks now, I don't know what's going on. Right, here we go. It is like some sort of strange craft surgery. I'm going to try and hold this in my other hand, because my although I'm left-handed, my grip's actually better on my right hand because it's not injured, and it's just for, like, gripping the tweezers. So here we go again. I think that one's straighter, guys. Oh, that's quite hard, okay. I have noticed that sometimes when I pull these out of the moulds, they sometimes feel still a little bit tacky and they've just not fully cured. And I don't know whether that's because it's cheap moulds or whether it's a cheap UV light, but just by turning them out onto a plate and sitting them on a windowsill somewhere and leaving them, you know, till the next day, that seems to be quite good. Uh, bearing in mind that we have, we're quite kind of low on daylight as it is um, in Scotland, especially up here, uh, you know, you just have to be patient and let that happen. This just doesn't want, it's just not coming out. <laughs> and get a clean cocktail stick. Yay! Okay, that one's turned out absolutely fine, so that's made me really happy. So I'm going to set that up on the windowsill just now. First success of the video. <laughs> and I'm going to go again. I'm kind of hoping my, uh, my tubular shaped one is cured enough now. I'm just going to swap these over. Okay, here we go. Yay! Oh wow, that is just bubblicious though. <laughs> you see this? It's mostly bubbles and not much else. That's actually turned out okay. Look, it looks super shiny in the light as well. It is a wee bit cloudy. See if I hold it up close to the, the camera. I don't know if you can see that or not. There is a wee bit of cloudiness to it. My, my hook is really off centre though. <laughs> It's mimes off. Yeah, that's made me happy. Okay, that because that could have gone horribly, horribly wrong. Right, okay, so I've got these snowflakes now, and I think I kind of want one to match this this other one with the, the stars in it, because I think that would be quite cool. These are really delicate, though, and I don't know if they're going to show up. I think there's going to have to be quite a high concentration of these. So I think I'll leave that for the other um, this other pendant mould, because I think they'll show up better in that sense. I can use the rest of this snowflake resin. As I say, I'm not going to waste any of it. This is the one that had the kind of white glitter in it. And I'm not going to waste any of it. So I'm just going to go for it. Now, imagine I'm going to need a fair bit more to cover this. I don't know whether I want a layer of resin first. You know, just a plain layer so that it's got a nice shiny top on it. I think I'm going to try and put a layer. 
it does mean that my ornament's going to have a front and a back which when you've got a Christmas tree ornament you don't really want that do you because it's going to be hanging up it's going to swing but I think that it might be an idea I'm kind of doing this like I would ice, ice a cake Many moons ago, that's something a lot of you don't know about me actually, many moons ago when I was young and stupid, when I left school at 16, I uh, trained to be a chef and I was a pastry chef, properly qualified and everything, and there's, obviously it's something that I've not done professionally for years, but it's funny because old habits die hard, and I do find myself, you know, if I'm doing things like this, I, I tend to revert to form, and icing a cake is actually one of my favourite things to do. I used to do quite a lot of decorative cake work I, and I worked in quite a prestigious hotel as well so we did some like really fancy stuff and I suppose that should, that was really like my artistic streak coming out and I was I was reasonably good at it actually. I wouldn't I wasn't say it was like amazing or like award winning or anything but I was pretty good at, at making things look nice. <laughs> so no surprise really that here we are many many years later many years later and I am rediscovering my creative and arty side maybe we should do that for a video guys what do you think what about doing some cake decoration you know just for just for something different I wouldn't do it as like a series or anything but I could uh, we could make like an epic cake oh, that's a good idea let me know in the comments if that's something that you'd like to see because I, I would be up for that I'm a bit see, I'm a bit rusty. I might have to have a little practice run before I <laughs> before I filmed anything, but I would be happy to do that. Okay, so this mold isn't even half full, like de you know, depth wise, isn't from the mat up the way. But I just if I've got a nice shiny like first layer on that, I think that would be um, advantageous, shall we say? Right, we're gonna try and take this square one out. I'm t I'm too scared to pull it by this. Oh wow. Oh yeah! <laughs> you can actually see the little snowflakes. I didn't know if you were going to be able to see them or not, you know, that white glitter. But you can actually see it. There are some air bubbles here. Yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite impressed with that one as well. I'm quite happy with that one. Okay, add it to the collection. Okay, I think I'm going to do one more of these long ones and I want to do the hexagonal one because it comes to a point on a row here. Okay, for this one, I think I'm going to do some red and green glitter. And I'm just going to chuck this straight in here. Well, that's maybe a bit, <laughs> a bit overkill. Oh no. We're soon going to find out. Oh my goodness. This looks like something my gran would have worn at Christmas in like the 1980s. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh. Oh, and that's way too much. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> right. Oh, jock high. <laughs> this is all panic stations. Right, what else have I got that I can stick this into? Just uh, I could do a couple of some things, some things in here because I need to do another star anyway. I may as well just use this up. There's a little diamond. Are diamonds Christmassy or will I do a heart? I'll do a heart. Because Christmas for me is all about love because I get to have my family with me and it's the only time of year where that actually happens. Oh wow, I should not be allowed to do this. Uh, the glitter's not going to go into like the points of the star, like not even a little bit. I wonder if I can scoop some of that back out. Yeah, that's basically um just made a mess. Like, can you go over there? Oh, now they're all stuck together. Ah, crap. Smoosh off the excess. Okay, that, 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 no, no, that didn't work, okay. I'm trying to squish too much into one mould, that's what, that's what's wrong here. That's, the, this is where I'm, where I'm failing. God, we were getting on so well as well, I just ruined it now. Right, can you not just like spread yourself out and behave? I keep holding my breath when I'm doing stuff like this as well. Oh, I forgot about this one, I've got to get a, a doofer in this one and... Yeah, I, got, I was getting a bit carried away with myself there, right? So I've got my little fixing again. I need to move this out of the way just now. And I need to get my little light over here. Right, that's about the middle. This is also incredibly squint. Uh oh. I kind of bumped this one at the last, <laughs> last minute. Okay, that's holding though. That's great. Right, so with, with this one, I'll zoom out a bit again, I think. 
it's getting stressful. Yeah, with this one, oh, there's lots of bubbles and things around my, my sticky outy bit. That's not good, I don't think. See around you, you can actually see it. It's gone all white around there. No idea why, don't no idea what that's for, but okay. So we're going to get these little white snowflakes, which I think are just delightful. I really like these. These are like my favourite. And I'm going to, oh wow. Okay, I was going to say I'm going to put some in there, but I've emptied like half the bag in. Oh, zero out of ten for finesse today, Gem Gem. So I better just mix that in. Oh, it's just like a big globby sequiny mess. These are everywhere as well. And they're really difficult to see. I'm trying to sort of even them out a bit because I've got like big massive patches of them. I wonder if you, you guys can probably see better on the camera. I can't, the monitor's like up here so I can't look up and look down at the same time. I can steal a glance though. If I tilt that in there, oh that looks pretty. Oh damn, I really want this one to work out because it's like, I think this might be my favourite. This is the one like I really want to hang on my Christmas tree. Right, so that's that one. I'm going to pop that one out of the way. So I, I'm kind of like a matchy-matchy person. I like things to be all together. So I'm going to have the silver, which is really... Oh, no, it does look silver. Silver for the one with the stars and green for the, the one with the Christmas trees in it. I'll just pop this through. Give it a bit of length, I think. Maybe not that much length, though. I need to have enough to tie a knot. Again, not being a crafty person, I'm not... Not <laughs> all the puns. I am not particularly well versed in things like this. You know, most crafters would be able to eyeball roughly how much they would need to tie a decent knot and still leave some length on it. I, I am not. I'm not that experienced. But I think we'll go with that and see how it goes. Oh, so we can tie that in a really tight little knot and then we can just snip the ends off and I might fuse the ends. I wonder if I've got a fire stick anywhere. Right, I'll I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do the other one and then I'll go and see if I can find a, a fire stick. Otherwise known as a lighter to normal people. You know, like um, like a cigarette lighter. Do my silver one. Next, yeah, I can use my other one to gauge my length. <laughs> That's me, I've run out of daylight, so I've had to put some lights on, so I hope that's not going to be too much trouble for y'all. I'm just going to pop out my little sparkly ones here and add them to my collection. I'll be able to break all this, this off. Okay, I'm going to try and squeeze this bad boy out now. Now this one has a point at the bottom, so I'm hoping this one's going to be easier to get out, but I'm not... I'm not convinced at all. Yeah, it is easier to get out, definitely. Oh, this one's turned out quite nicely as well. Look, ooh, ooh sparkly. Oh, this one's still sticky. Okay, so I'm just going to put a final layer of resin on this one now, and that is us, we are done. Uh, so I just want like a final layer. Spread this out a bit. Do a bit of manoeuvring here. I'm kind of hoping that this will join up on its own on that bit. Mm, maybe not. I honestly can't tell what's what's what at all here. I think I need to like smooth it out that way a little bit. I really don't want to ruin this one because I'm kind of like, I'm quite sort of like emotionally attached to it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut some ribbon for my glittery one now. There we go. I have to say that the red and the green glitter together, it looks kind of dirty, like kind of grubby. So I don't know whether that's just because it's those two particular colours or or what. Right guys, I lost a whole chunk of footage yesterday which didn't please me. So I'm going to redo this last ornament. In fact, I'm going to do two ornaments. And... Because I really wanted to show you some of these with the mica powder in them. Whey. So the one I was doing was the one that was going to have the little gold snowflakes and some of this green in the background. And I'm using the oval mould for this. I want to create a nice shiny surface on it. So we want to put a layer of the just like straight resin into it. I'm nearly out of resin as well. <laughs> anyway, we'll do this first 
and then I will show you the fruits of my labour from yesterday. I think if we're going to do crafty videos like this again, I'm going to have to set up like a second camera angle so that you can actually see what's going on. I should not be doing this on this surface, I didn't think this through. So what we want first of all is this nice layer, clear layer, which is going to be like the, the front. So I'm just going to squeeze some of this straight into the mould, try and load it up around this back part here so that we can squeeze it in behind. And I'll just take my wee cocktail stick, where's the lid for this, goodness me. And just using my cocktail stick, I'm just going to kind of squish it round to make sure that it's covering the entire surface area, which is obviously is the bottom of the mould, which will then become the, the front of the ornament. I think that's the thing that I, I'm really liking about this resin, is you've got, you know, there's quite a lot of manoeuvrability with it, even though it doesn't take long to cure. And um, I have to say that's... Uh, very enjoyable. So while that's doing that, I'm just going to pour a little bit more in here because the next layer is going to be the, um, I keep going to call these stars, I don't know whether it's because they're gold, it's going to be these snowflakes because we're going to want them in front of the powder otherwise we are uh, going to struggle to see them I think. So I don't even think that we need to have this front layer fully cured. I think it just has to be hard enough so that these snowflakes aren't going to sink into it. But I think it's beneficial to do things in layers as well though. Especially if you're using like deeper modes because sometimes the UV light doesn't penetrate. If you've got this much in thickness of resin, sometimes the UV light doesn't make it all the way to the bottom and you find that the underside that's actually against the mould is quite sticky. I've certainly found that with uh, some of the thicker ones like for example the, these types of ones that we've already done. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to put another little layer down. i zoom in a little bit. I think that might be enough. It's just enough to stick these wee snowflakes in. Oh, hi Dan, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine apart from my laptop not working. <laughs> no, but I can be if you just give me two seconds. No, no, you're fine if you literally like less than a minute. I'm in the middle of curing UV resin and you've got to get it before it starts to set so uh, but this is for an extracurricular project obviously it's always the same though see when I'm painting as well someone always like comes to the door or phones when I'm in the middle of a wash and I literally can't leave it alone I need to get myself like one of these little um little signs for the door you know just occupied <laughs> right I'll just pop that out the road oh well I was having to do proper work stuff there <laughs> Oh dear, I'm having to like juggle things today. This is not so good. Anyway, the good thing is that my my second layer is pretty well cured. I have, have dribbled a wee bit here. So what the next step is, is to take some more resin and we'll mix in some of this, this beautiful green powder. And this will be like the background of the ornament. It's pretty messy stuff, but I seem to have been able to keep it contained quite well without sort of decimating the the situation. I do want this to be quite rich. I don't want it to be transparent in any way, shape or form. Okay, that's not enough. I want more. I want it really green. It does look really pretty though, then you'll never see that on the camera, but the sheen on this is just absolutely gorgeous. Dump a little bit more in. I had YouTube on in the background the other day, see when I was playing with this resin to begin with, and I was watching Jackie, the nerdy crafter, doing, uh, she was unboxing one of her so uh, Sophie and Toffee boxes, and they are like uh, a resin kit type subscription box, I think, and it made me like want to make everything. I was like, like make everything. <laughs> right, that's a little bit better. I'm quite happy with that. So now I'm going to try and manoeuvre this into this mould. Right, gravity is going to have to give us a hand a bit here. Come on now. This resin seems to be a lot less um, liquidy. I was going to say the correct term is it is more viscous straight out the bottle than when I first bought it. I'm pretty sure of it. And I think it may be um, coming to the end of its shelf life. It's starting to 
get a wee bit of colour in it, like a tiny yellow tint. And I'm sure I read somewhere that that's a sign that you're, it's coming to like the end of its expiration because this uh, UV resin does have a shelf life. Oh, that looks so nice. <laughs> it's like, mmm. <laughs> and let this glob about a bit. This is definitely a lot thicker than it was when I first started because this was like, it was almost like a syrupy consistency and it was running off the end of the the cocktail stick really easily whereas now I'm having to like kind of wait for it to do its thing. I've got a very bored pip today as well. It is, the weather is horrendous outside and I got absolutely drenched and covered in muck taking her and Jock out this morning and the little one Jack Russell is not going to want to go out in that this afternoon anyway. So I have given Pip and Jock puzzle toys to play with. They're, you know, it's got like cogs and trapdoors on it and you can hide treats in them. So they're... Pip's currently playing with one of those. Jock's not bothered, he's asleep. <laughs> Alright, let's get this back under the lamp. I'm really hoping that this one turns out because my last one was perfect and I want this one to be perfect too so that I can show you. There were uh, there were lots of expletives last night when I went to edit that footage <laughs> and I realised that the file was corrupt. I was not a happy camper. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, I've got a few bubbles, but it's not bad. There we go. So that is the finished mould. If I just turn it on the side there, you can see the clear layer on the, the front. That's quite apparent. And then if I just turn over the back, that's the back. The back's quite pretty as well, but again, I seem to have well, a lot of bubbles there. That one's not turned out as well as my other one. <laughs> I don't know where the other one is. I was going to show you, but I don't know where it is. So what we need to do now is just put a little bit of a ribbon on this and then we are done. I'm just going to use a cocktail stick to poke this through. So I've got this little loop at the front here and then you can just feed that through like this and then if you pull that tight and we can tie a knot in it. The last thing I've got here to show you is just the little stars that I made and the ones that had the glitter in them as well. I did a few of the hearts. I'm pretty sure I've managed to rescue that footage. But these have turned out really well as well. They do need trimming, which you can do with an X-Acto knife and some of the pieces will actually just pull off. So I'm going to stick these in with my table scatter for our, our Christmas meal. I think I could have done with more mica powder in them. This is the original one, which you can see looks really rich compared to these other ones that look a little bit kind of wishy washy but they turned out really well as well I just wish I'd had a few a few more molds for that anyway I hope you have enjoyed this video I've just found one of the decorations that I missed that isn't hanging up so that was the glittery one that we did and it's turned out reasonably well this is my favorite shape this one I'm sorry I didn't include that. I'm all like out of kilter because I've, I'm having to like refilm stuff. This has just been a bit of a, a bit of a chore this video. So yeah, that is everything. I've had really good fun doing this and I do think that I might try a little bit more of these resin type crafty things. If you want to see me film more of them and maybe try something a bit more complicated then please let me know in the comments under this video. I know this is more of a crafty thing than an arty thing and a lot of you might not be all that keen on seeing videos of this nature but if not that's absolutely fine. This is something that I can do in my own time and just have, have fun with. So I'm going to hang these on my tree once my Christmas tree is up and uh, I shall post a link to the picture on the community tab when that time rolls round. Thank you ever so much for watching today guys and we shall see you tomorrow for day three of Cavemus. Have a good day everyone, bye for now.